Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, historic P-47D Razorback takes flight. Honda offers assistance to Jetit Honda Jet owners. Allied Pilots Association Board rejects Alpha merger. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Historic P-47D Razorback takes flight. The Dakota Territory Air Museum's Republic P-47D Thunderbolt, following a painstaking eight-year restoration, took flight for the first time in 79 years. Resurrected to its wartime glory by a dedicated team at Air Corps Aviation, the iconic World War II fighter took to the skies, showcasing the passion, commitment, sharp minds, skilled hands, and intrepid souls of those who took part in the machine's restoration. In 1944, after scoring 16 aerial victories in the Second World War's bloody Pacific Theater, the P-47D suffered an accident at New Guinea's Dobadura Airfield. In 2014, the P-47D was handed over to Air Corps Aviation, the staff of which got immediately and resolutely about the business of restoring the venerable aircraft. Now in 2023, the once-forgotten warplane has returned to the skies she once dominated as a specimen of America's foremost World War II ground attack aircraft. By virtue of the main test flight, the newly restored P-47D earned the distinction of being the world's sole airworthy Razorback variant of Republic's Thunderbolt. Following a series of test flights, the celebrated aircraft will be flown to its new home at Dakota Territory Air Museum. Currently, the P-47D Razorback is scheduled to appear at EAA Air Venture Oshkosh 2023, where it will be featured in a Warbirds in Review session during which the plane's new livery is to be unveiled. And coming up after the break, ASA debuts iPad Mini Kneeboard. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. ASA debuts iPad Mini Kneeboard. ASA has debuted its new iPad Mini Kneeboard. Unlike the ASA kneeboards of decades past, simplistic ballistic nylon clad aluminum clipboards adorned in data borrowed from the company's back stocks of E6Bs and AIMs, ASA's new offering safely houses Apple's popular iPad Mini, keeping the Wii Digital Powerhouse safely secured. Fashioned from eco-friendly, top-quality microfiber leather, ASA's new iPad Mini kneeboard is fitted to the user's thigh by a way of a wide hook-and-loop adjustable strap. B-29 Doc History Restored Tour to Visit Mason City, Iowa Doc's Friends, the nonprofit organization by which the B-29 Doc is owned, maintained, and operated, announced the storied aircraft would make a July 19th stop at Mason City, Iowa's Mason City Municipal Airport as part of the B-29 Doc History Restored Tour. MCW Airport Manager David Sims stated, quote, The Mason City Municipal Airport is very happy to bring a piece of history to North Iowa for people to experience. We welcome everyone to the airport this July to see Doc and get an inside look at this historic aircraft, end quote. Plane Purveyor Sells AT-60 to Wasp Museum Fleet Courtesy Aircraft helped the Wasp Museum complete its collection with the purchase of a vintage North American AT-6D, capping off their fleet of World War II trainers after years of searching. The museum is dedicated to keeping the memory of the Women Air Force Service Pilots Corps, or WASPs, who helped to strengthen the country's logistical backbone in the early years of World War II. Courtesy Aircraft managed to source a good bird, providing a silvery Texan to the museum after some searching. Bushliner Lycoming Partnership Announced 
Bushliner, the Washington state-based backcountry aircraft concern renowned for its wizardry with Cessnas 180 and 185 airframes, announced that it had signed an OEM distribution agreement with Lycoming Engines, where we hope they will get better service than many of those we hear from on a regular basis. The partnership offers options for the company's highly anticipated 1850 kit, buyers of which now have the option to power their aircraft with Lycoming's IO540 and IO580 power plants. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Honda offers assistance to Jetit Honda Jet owners. Honda Aircraft has compiled a support team tasked with assisting fractional owners of Honda Jets previously managed by Jetit, the North Carolina-based charter and fractional ownership that on May 26, 2023, set forth its intention to shutter the entirety of its flight operations. The assistance offered by Honda will be provided free of charge and help former Jetit owners negotiate what the Japanese-owned, U.S.-based plane maker called, quote, seamless transitions to alternative aircraft management options, end quote. Honda's assistance initiative will also provide pilot services by which the unceremoniously displaced Jetit Honda Jet owners may move their aircraft to Honda's Greensboro, North Carolina headquarters, where the company will provide up to 90 days of free parking. Honda Aircraft Chief Compliance Officer and Vice President of Customer Service Ahmad Kelkar stated, quote, We understand the challenges faced by fractional owners who have been impacted by the suspension of their aircraft management after being released from contract by Jetit and are now seeking alternative arrangements. Consistent with our dedication to customer satisfaction, we have developed and established this assistance plan for those Honda Jet owners in need of additional support during this transition period, end quote. Coming up after these messages, Allied Pilots Association Board rejects ALPA merger. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Welcome back. Allied Pilots Association Board rejects ALPA merger. The Allied Pilots Association, the labor union by which American Airlines pilots are represented, has rejected a merger with the Airline Pilots Association, which represents more than 74,000 pilots at 40 U.S. and Canadian airlines. The APA's decision was predicated primarily upon a consensus that merging with ALPA would provide insufficient benefit vis-a-vis -vis the liability's inherent forfeiture of the collective independent voice of APA's membership. AA Pilots for ALPA, a grassroots group of American Airlines pilots supportive of merging with ALPA, worked for months to persuade APA leadership to investigate the ostensible benefits of such an alignment. At the group's behest, APA commissioned the formation of a merger exploratory committee, which produced a report setting forth that an APA ALPA merger, though beneficial in some respects, was not an American Airlines pilot's best long-term interest. Notwithstanding its Merger Exploratory Committee's broader findings, the APA Executive Board staunchly maintains its decision to reject the ALPA merger was based on economics. The APA Executive Board contended also that merging with ALPA would see APA, in its entirety, reduced to a so-called Master Executive Council, an entity with greatly diminished financial autonomy under the ALPA banner. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.